Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And today we're talking about two phones, a quick comparison here between the Realme X2 Pro that I now have in my possession and so glad that I do, and the Oppo Reno 3. And the main point of this comparison isn't about just going down the laundry list here, design, display, and all that stuff. We're gonna talk specifically about the processors. So it's really a battle here between the Snapdragon 855 and the Dimensity 1000. In fact, I want to kind of put them this way because this is the Dimensity 1000 and then this is the Snapdragon 855 from last year versus the new chip from this year. Now there is one similarity here. Both are 7 nanometer processes but this chip is 5G capable and I think a lot of the questions you guys have been wondering about asking about is if I have a Snapdragon 855 phone, am I missing out not getting this new upgrading, apparently, to this new Dimensity 1000? Well, hopefully I can go through some benchmarks here and then we'll do a little bit of PUBG, checking out the temperatures of those CPUs and the GPUs and just really kind of answer that question, is it really that much of a difference right now? So let's have a look. So starting with the Geekbench 5 scores, and you can see them right here. Gosh, they are very close. And this is the Snapdragon 855 Plus, no less, from the Realme X2 Pro compared to the Dimensity 1000. You can see there's a, a slight bump in multi-core score. That's where we do see that separation and where we do see the Dimensity 1000. This is the underclocked version, by the way, guys. So if you get the regular like clocked version of the Dimensity 1000, you're gonna see even higher scores than this, surpassing the OnePlus 7 Pro, whereas the 855 Plus is just kind of in that same range. Generally speaking, you see kind of similar scores, single core right here. And so obviously, if you look at these scores, they're very close to each other. What does that mean? That means that this Dimensity 1000 isn't so much about pushing out those raw to that raw performance. It's not going to beat an Apple A13. It's not going to beat the upcoming H65 or even probably the Exynos 990. This is clearly a chipset that is designed to be 5G, but to also provide great performance. In this case, I think it still does a good job. But if you're thinking you're going to get some major jump over the 855 Plus, you're not. So don't consider the Geekbench scores really here to be any kind of, of an improvement on the 1000 over the 855 Plus. And quickly talking about battery life as well, we're seeing a 4,025 milliampere capacity versus 4,000. So very similar marks here. We have an estimated screen on time of six hours and 23 minutes here on the Dimensity 1000. But for now, I can tell you one week into using this Oppo Reno 3, the battery seems solid. It seems like it does a pretty good job. Standby does drop quite a bit, but nothing that would kind of be, you know, out of the ordinary, I think, with any Android phone. And the Realme X2 always had decent battery life, really solid. I wouldn't say it was incredible, but overall, I don't think there's going to be much of a difference between these two phones, and I don't think the chipsets are really doing much of a difference here. They're both 7 nanometer processes, and you're going to have that kind of 8, 6 to 8 hours of screen on time on these phones, maybe 10 if you're watching more content like YouTube and stuff like that. And looking at the N22 benchmark scores, we see a similar story here. So the Operino 3 5G, this is a score actually from online. This is the highest score from Twitter that I was able to find, 429,000. Now let me show you guys though the score that I did just earlier this morning, 399,000. So you're in that 400 plus score range versus the 395 on the 855 plus. So what does that mean? Well, N22 is a pretty comprehensive benchmark testing the CPU, GPU, memory. The 855 Plus is maybe a little step back the Dimensity 1000. And this is the underclocked version, imagine. So the higher clock version will be even a little more powerful than that. But it's not enough of a jump, I think, that you're going to say you feel the difference, that it's such a world of difference. And that's also been my experience using these phones 
day to day. Now there's one major difference between these two phones that you need to know about. This is ColorOS 6.1 on the Realme X2 Pro while the Oppo Reno 3 is running ColorOS 7. Now I've said ColorOS 7 is a step above. It is significantly better. ColorOS 6.1 is kind of like a placeholder and it has a similar UI, I would say, as ColorOS 6. So if you go to settings, for example, but look, you see right there, the icons just look so much cleaner and so much nicer, even with 90 hertz refresh rate. I wish we had ColorOS 7 on the Realme X2 Pro. Obviously, that's getting Realme UI, which will be based on ColorOS 7. But right now, I would say that is a non-issue. 6.1, yes, is not great, but I do appreciate the fact that this phone does have that software and yet I would still choose the Realme X2 Pro over the Oppo Reno 3 for that beautiful silky smooth 90 hertz refresh rate and as you can tell just quick talk of the design here from the bezels these phones are identical they do have glossy backs as well but there's one thing that I appreciate about this Realme X2 Pro over the Oppo Reno 3 and that is it's metallic and at this price point you get a metal edge you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You get all that good stuff and a beautiful pearlescence back. On this phone, you get plastic for the price for this almost 3,800 Hong Kong dollar phone, a good deal more expensive than the Realme X2 Pro. So for me, that's just like unforgivable. <laughs> and for me, that's why I think the Realme X2 Pro is still gonna be the choice when it comes to design, display, and all those other factors, dual speakers versus single speakers and all that. And here we are now in PUBG to test out the Dimensity 1000 versus the 855 Plus. And let's look at these settings. Looks like we are maxing out. Aha, but look at this. The Realme X2 Pro does have Extreme as an option. So I'm gonna have to play an HDR Ultra here. And wanting to show you guys the Game Center. How do you enable this on the Realme X2 Pro? You swipe down with two fingers and there it is. Whereas on Color S7, maybe this is the upgrade, but you swiped from the side diagonally and there you get it. Slight difference in UI here between the two and swipe down further and you can see even more information right there. But let's get into the gameplay and see how does the CPU, FPS, and GPUs do on here. Dimensity 1000 versus the Snapdragon 855 Plus. And I have all the settings the same here. Let's do okay on the Realme X2 Pro. First time I'm playing on this phone, and let's get started. And it looks like the map has changed on me, guys. So I guess it's time for a new tradition here. We can call it the Frankie running test. Just keep running. Just keep running. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. I had to improvise there. I was expecting a swim test, but I guess that's the first run test here. And we may have more run tests in the future, considering that the maps on PUBG Mobile are changing so much. New maps is a good thing, though, to make things fresh, just like here on Frankie Tech. And ahead of time, positive to see all the display used on these phones. And how are they doing in the plane jump? Dimensity 1000, no slouch. It's doing a great job here with the latest Mali GPU. And until the 865 is released, the Adreno 640 on this Realme X2 Pro is still the gold standard, I think, for GPUs in gaming on Android. Let's get down to the surface, get some guns, get some action. And they're shooting at me on the Realme X2 Pro. What can I do? Well, we can punch you, dude. And our first kill on the Realme X2 Pro was by punches. Let's see if we can get a real kill now. Take that. Booyah. Oh, yeah. Two kills on the Realme X2 Pro. But I'm about to die already on this device. I just fell right into gunfire. Let's see how we're doing on the Dimensity 1000. Oppo Reno 3. And I will mention when I play as the guy, it's much harder. This is my actual signed in account and I've had a lot of wins on this account. So I tend to have shorter matches when I'm doing these reviews. But anyways, let's run around and see if we can get some action on this Oppo Reno 3. And we've been running for a little bit of time now. Let's see how these GPUs and CPUs are doing. And guys, this is where the Oppo Reno 3 with the Dimensity 1000 may have a disadvantage 
over the Adreno 640 and the Snapdragon 855 of the Realme X2 Pro. Look at this 17% CPU versus 26 and 49% GPU usage over 97. They're both sticking to 40 FPS here though, but that is surprising that in terms of raw power, yes, it may do a great job. But in terms of actual comparison to the gold standard here, the Adreno 640, you're probably still better suited to play games on this GPU and have a good experience. And that translates to the heat level on these phones as well. The Realme X2 Pro is still fairly cool to the touch, while on the Oppo Reno 3, I'm definitely starting to feel a bit more warm up. It's not a significant difference versus the Realme X2 Pro, but it is slight. I can definitely tell. And look, someone's here. Time for some action. Oh yeah, there we go. And finally a kill on the Oppo Reno 3 that came out of nowhere. And let's get one more kill here on the Oppo Reno 3, Dimensity 1000. Take that. Oh yeah, two kills on the Oppo Reno 3 and the Dimensity 1000. So that's it for this video guys, just a quick one and my final verdict in terms at least of the CPU and performance capabilities of these phones. And really answering that question, are you sacrificing to stick with your 855s, with your 855 plus phones, and not getting the next generation of chipsets from like MediaTek, this Dimensity 1000? I'd say, at least in this comparison, you are not. You are okay, and that is kind of the, the feeling I got when I bought this Realme X2 Pro. It still flies, the performance is incredible. I'd say the performance feels even better than the Oppo Reno 3 because of that 90 hertz. And I think the Dimensity 1000, while great and will be future proving for 5g those are things that will be i guess benefits in the future right now if you're shopping for phones you're probably going to get some great deals on the only 4g capable phones available manufacturers are going to be pushing 5g down consumers throats and i think that's the thing a lot of you are concerned about but I'm saying it right here, don't worry, you still can pick up a lot of great 855 plus phones like the Realme X2 Pro without worry. Now, maybe by the end of this year, it will be a different story, or maybe once there's enough 5G phones and they flooded the market that you really should just pick one up anyway, we will see. But the 865 is still on the way. That may make waves against this Dimensity 1000 and the previous generation. We'll wait and see how that does, and stay tuned on Frankie Tech for that comparison. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up, and if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates, and don't worry, guys, the top-down format is not going anywhere. Stay tuned for more great top-down videos here on Frankie Tech very soon. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.